I read a lot of blogs and um, articles and books, and you tend to see a lot of people that are talking about the shortest way to or the, the 10 simplest steps to. Um, unfortunately, I don't think there's a shortcut to being genuine. And I think that's what's important to get people to trust you before they buy anything from you. I think it's a massive ask if you tell me that, you know, here's my new product and I want you to buy it. Um, it's a massive ask for me to change my way of doing things and go in for this new product or service. So the first thing to establish is that you are genuine, that you are credible. Um, good news is that it's actually very easy, um, especially with the social media channels. It's very easy to spread information, especially if it's good information. So the, what I would recommend is not go after shortcuts or you know, the quick ways of doing things, is to first genuinely care about your product, genuinely care about your customer, and that's when you will be able to show on all the social media channels that you do care, you are genuine, and you are someone who I can trust to buy this product from. The first thing to be careful of is to be genuine, is to genuinely care about your product and your customer. Once you've got that, the three steps that I would recommend for any entrepreneur is to first evaluate your product and constantly evolve your product based on genuine feedback. So it's nice that your mum likes your product, but it's not enough. However, that's not a bad thing either. We start with home, we start with friends and family to first evaluate our product, but once you've crossed that stage, it's important to get independent feedback from people who might use your product, who may be interested, who are expressing some sort of interest. Take that feedback on board, update your product, and then go out and sell it. The job of selling becomes easier when you've got a product that's based on customer needs rather than what I felt like doing. So that's the first step. The next step is to share your story. Now, it's important for me to know as a customer, why should I buy your product? Why are you selling me what you are selling me? So take an example. If you are a young guy selling me a pram and I'm a young expectant mother, well, it's a hard sell because a young guy who just wants to sell me a pram because they want to make more money is not a good enough story. But if you are a young guy who's been to Argentina, who's seen how kids live over there, how they walk bare feet, and you want to sell me a pair of shoes, using that money, you're going to buy those kids a pair of shoes. Now then you've got my attention. So I think that's the next step, is to be credible, is to share your story and tell me why you are doing what you're doing. And finally, it's very important to treat your customer like king or queen. Um, a lot of startups will normally say, well, you know, we'll have a customer care department once we've got X many customers or we've got, you know, Y goals all done. But it's actually very important to take care of your customers, even the first ones from day one. They will then sell your product for you. So let your customers do your job, even if you've got just two customers. I think partnerships can help all businesses, especially social enterprises, because as a social enterprise, you've got a brilliant story to tell. You've got a story about how you want to help people, how you're going to change the lives of so many people through your business. And I think it's a brilliant way to approach larger enterprises, larger com companies, larger organizations, to then go to them and say, this is the change I want to do, and here's how you can help me. It's in their advantage as well. They want to create positive change, but they don't have the right resources or the right plans at times to make that change. And I think that's how partnerships can be mutually beneficial for both parties. Now, that said, it's very important to consider who you partner with. It's like a long-term relationship. You should know what you're getting into before you get into it. And I think if once you've evaluated what you need, what they need, and how both the needs can be satisfied properly and nicely for the benefit of the customer, I think all partnerships can be extremely beneficial. The largest trend in technology is how cheap disseminating information has become. And I think that's a trend that we cannot, cannot, cannot ignore. We have to take care of the fact that information is easy to disseminate and we should all use it. All businesses should use it, especially social enterprises, because they are working towards a positive cause. If you consider YouTube, 100 hours of videos being uploaded to YouTube every minute. Twitter, 400 million tweets per day. There's a lot of information and it's cheap. So entrepreneurs, especially those who are running social enterprises, should be out there, care about the customer, care about their product, share this information on all the social media channels, but it's not enough to share information. It should be good information because once it's good information, the customer is going to like, share, retweet, and do your job for you. So that's what I would suggest to concentrate on the most.